Hello, my name is Chip and I'm a paramedic with the state of North Carolina. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to identify and treat someone that's choking. For this purposes, we're going to talk about an adult that's choking. The universal sign for choking is typically this. It doesn't matter where you are or who you are, when you don't get air going to your lungs anymore from food or other kind of obstructions, you'll automatically want to grasp your throat. Another thing is you will not make any noise. When your airway is completely blocked, air cannot pass by and cannot allow your vocal cords to do what they need to do so you can speak and be audible. So what you want to do is you would want to approach the patient that has their hands up and the choking symbol and you want to identify yourself, you know, I'm here to help you, are you choking? And believe it or not, they will oftentimes shake their head yes or they won't be able to respond at all. And what you will want to do is have the person stand or help them stand. Put your hands, make a fist, cover your fist right around the belly button area or just above the belt line, and you want to push in and up in rapid thrusts, in and up. And you want to continue to do this until the food's expelled or until they go unconscious. Typically what you're doing is when you're pushing in on the abdominal area, you're changing the, the force pressure so it's hopefully going to push more pressure upward and allow, you only have two openings, you have your esophagus and you have your trachea, once to the lungs, once to the belly, and hopefully you're gonna push and allow whatever that obstruction in the airway is to be forced out. When that happens, you wanna make sure you have the patient sit back down. Typically they'll be coughing quite a bit when that happens, and so you wanna make sure that they can breathe okay, and if they vomit, they're leaning over so they don't aspirate or suck any of that back into their lungs because that can cause a problem. If the patient's full-term pregnant, you want to make sure you don't push where the baby is. You go up higher around the breastbone area, and you put your hands here, and you do the thrust up here, never where the full developed fetus is located on the pregnant female. This is Chip, and I hope you've learned something about choking. Thank you.